For those of you in a hurry, select your top layer, layer, merge visible, hold down the Alt or the Option key while clicking on this command, and there's your merged copy just there. Now for those of you with a few minutes to spare, why don't we back up and do this properly. So my subtle design is coming along nicely. Time to blur everything, I think. Now I don't want to have to individually blur each of these three layers. So it makes sense that I combine all of the layers and then blur that layer. So up under the layer menu, merge visible. Here's my combined layer, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, choosing OK. And I'm loving this result just now. But of course, if I change my mind in the future, I'm kind of stuffed at this point, right? I can't unblur this thing. So let's undo a couple of steps. And let me show you how to create a merged copy of all of your layers. Now the command I'm about to show you, you want to first be paying attention to what is selected here in the layers panel, because the combined copy will be created above whatever layer is selected. So generally, the best thing to do is select either your topmost layer or click in a blank part of your layers panel to deselect everything. So with nothing selected, layer, merge visible, but this time guys, while I run this command, I'm going to hold down the Alt or the Option key. Check it out. Here's our combined layer just up here, but down here are all of my original layers. So if I turn them off and turn on our new merged copy, the result looks exactly the same just out here. So my merged copy is selected, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, OK. Of course, if I change my mind in the future, I can now throw this guy away. And there's my original layers. I can now build again whatever I like. Now I'm going to run that command again as a keyboard shortcut in just a moment. But again, of course, we always check which layer, if anything, is selected. So in this case, let's choose the topmost layer. Now, layer, merge visible. Check out the keyboard shortcut just here. On a PC, that is Shift, Control, and E. On a Mac, that's Shift, Command, and E. But again, guys, when we run the command to get the copy, we want to include the Alt or the Option key. So let me click away just here. So holding down Command, Option, Shift, and pressing E, or Control, Alt, Shift, and E, this is what we get. Our merged copy just up here, same as before, but this time launched via the keyboard. So guys, that's how you can create a merged copy here inside of Photoshop. I would like to leave you with one tip though. I'll just delete my merged copy here. So we're basically back where we started. I'm a big fan of smart objects. I'll just give you a very quick teaser just now. I've got lots of other great videos you can check out if this interests you. Select the top layer, hold down the shift key, select the bottom layer, right mouse click, convert to smart object. All of those layers are now contained within this smart object. So, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, choosing OK. This now comes in as a filter that I can easily double click to edit. I can easily hide and reshow, or I can just throw that filter away altogether and there's my original unharmed content. But again, guys, the big takeaway from today was the merge visible option just down here. I hope that helps you out. Catch you later.